a deer's life. It was May and there was a crisp, cool breeze in the air. I was playing in my backyard. I live in a large little house with a big flower filled garden on the outskirts of Chantilly, France. At the edge of the garden, there is a small forest with a creek in the middle of it. By the way, my name is Maria. I have blue eyes, gold brown hair, and pinkish red lips. Suddenly, I saw a deer. She had a light brown coat with white spots, big blue eyes, and she looked young. I tried to pet her, but she ran away. I, when she ran away, I saw a scratch on her side. I really hoped I would see her. I saw the deer again the next week near dinner time when I found her lying down in my backyard. She was hurt. I wish she could talk to me so she, she could explain what was wrong. Are you okay? I asked her. She tried to get up. Maria, my mother interrupted. Time for dinner. Coming, mother, I called. I went inside. Dinner smelled delicious, but I just couldn't stop thinking about the deer. I told my mom I wasn't hungry, and I excused myself from the dinner table. I went outside just in time to see the coyote attack the deer. I scared him away by stomping my feet and chased after him until he was out of sight. I checked on the deer and gave her a clean blanket to make her comfortable because I thought I would hurt her if I moved her. I told her I would call her Leah and I decided to call the coyote goat. Every morning I would wake up early and check on Leah and bring her food and water and I would check on her when I got back from school every day. Suddenly, Billy appeared ready to attack again. I was so scared I froze. Then I unfroze and went running after him, waving my arms and shouting to scare him away. He ran so fast, I lost track of him. The next day, I thought of a plan. I would buy a net to trap Billy and a decoy that looked like Leah. Then I would put the real Leah in the garage to keep her safe. Everything went according to plan. Billy came to attack Leah without realizing it was a statue instead of Leah. One of Billy's paws caught on the rope and the net came down as fast as lightning. Mom called the animal control and they came to get Billy. I was happy because Leah would be safe now. The next day, we had a big celebration. But in the middle of the celebration, I suddenly felt really sad. I knew I couldn't keep Leah with me forever and I was going to have to let Leah go back to the wild. At the end of the party, I went into the forest with Leah to set her free. I hated to let her go, but it was for her own good. Afterwards, I went sadly back home. The next day, I slept in. When my mom woke me up, she said that my friend was here. I told her to tell them to go away, but she told me I really wanted to see this friend. She left my room so I could get dressed. When I went downstairs, my mom pointed outside. There was Leah. I was so happy I could hardly speak. My mom said, here's your friend, and she left us together. I petted, I pet Leah and spoke softly with her, telling her I wanted to her to come often to visit me. She listened, nodded her head, and seemed to understand what I was saying. Soon after, she left again. After that day, Leah often came to visit me, and we spent many happy hours together in the sunny garden.